Hello and welcome to Fractured Space. Hang on, this isn't an Imperion video. What's going on? I know, I know, I know. Fractured Space, what the hell is this? Well, let me tell you. If you're like me, and you like the idea of zocking great big capital ships knocking the living snot out of each other, then you might like Fractured Space, possibly. Uh, in short, Fractured Space is another one of these free-to-play 5v5 multiplayer battle arena games except instead of fantastical fantasy characters wielding axes and magic uh, it's massive capital ships knocking the living snot out of each other <laughs> so here we are in fractured space now don't let this uh, main screen intimidate you it's cluttered as hell but ultimately it's just the news hub don't worry uh, we can go to our hangar here and uh, we can see the ships that I own and that is a great few ships I don't play this game as much as I'd like to um, I've only got a few boats here um, but the boats that I do have are pretty good ones um, apart from maybe the Black Widow there which is uh, horrendously difficult to do well in um, each ship has its own powers, strengths, weaknesses you know, play style um, you've got ships that are very heavily armoured, slow moving, difficult to take down. You've got ships that have a huge amount of firepower but are particularly sort of flimsy if they get shot at. Uh, sort of all rounder ships that are uh, sort of tanky starter ships which are just easy to play and so on and so forth. And there's some that are a little bit more technical to play. But. Um, it, it, interestingly, all the ships are available from the beginning. There's no sort of tech tree. Just you can test them out. You can play them. Um, you know, with this try this ship feature, or, and you can buy them if you can. And they've all got this difficulty to play rating here. Um, if you were looking for something a little bit more easy to play, you might play the Brawler, which is a very simple ship. It's close range. If you get it close to your enemies, you could mess them up pretty bad. Um, to to very difficult to play ships like the support craft such as the equalizer um, which are healing ships primarily uh, anyway I'm not going to go into too much detail about each ship because I'd be here all day but let me show you some gameplay I'm going to go with the reaper just because um, ah. purple hey, look at that bright green nice yeah it's a free to play game so the majority of it's sort of uh, what do you call it? Cash plan, whatever. Profitability comes from sort of skins and uh, aesthetics. You can go into the shop and you can buy loads of skins, starter packs. You've got crew pods that you can buy, implants, crew, and stuff. Uh, uh, other mechanics of the game to increase stats and things like that. Plus ten percent ramming damage. Why are you? In, why are you even here? <laughs> that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, it's pretty deep once you get into it, but the basic stuff is there. Hey! Uh, just gonna play some Skyhawks on my phone while this does that. Well, it turns out that Hawk, Skyhawks is taking just as long to load on my phone as this is taking to load me into a game. Yes. Yeah, I think lots of stuff that I can collect. Game. Yeah, free that. Yeah, oh, 900. Oh, did I just buy that? Whoopsie daisy. Didn't mean to do that. Never. Cool. Oh my god, it's actually joining a game! Holy crap, how long was that? Okay, so this is the other really cool thing. I think it's a cool thing. I don't know. The jury's out. But essentially, it's 5v5, so you have to take it in turns to choose the ships you're going with. Um, in order, I think it's basically designed so that 
you don't all choose the same same ship and you will choose ships that support each other so for example we've got a gladiator there uh, and the other guy's gone disruptor which is brilliant because it's, it's a support healing ship so the gladiator and disruptor do really well what's interesting is the guy at the bottom here has gone ah he just changed it he, he, he was, was going uh, uh, protector which isn't quite right but we've all gone three attacks three attacks one healer and one tank which is perfect which is good. Um, the enemy team, we can see what their makeup is. Well, they've got Equalizer Gladiator, similar setup. Uh, also a Reaper, Super Lifter, which is another support craft, which is interesting. And uh, our final dude has gone Ghost. So, and that's gone Overseer, which is a sniper. So that's interesting. Okay. Well, I'm just going to stick everything on the sort of default settings because, quite honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> I play this game so infrequently that I uh, I just sort of jump in and uh, alrighty and here we go middle lag we are in but this is like the pre warm up so we will get to just come around. Match is starting. Two, one. Hey, I want to see where the gladiator goes. The word is go. Beta. Beta it is. Alright. So this is it, basically. This is fractured space gameplay in a nutshell. Um, you have in the bottom right corner the sort of mini map the map layout so where we were was our home base um, we've just left that I'll just move through that really quickly that capture I'm going to crash into a rock because I'm awesome at this game I'm so good we've got an equalizer so I'm just going to start opening fire on him he's going to wish he retreated faster my shroud shield he's now used his I'm gonna realign the front of my ship back to him he's using his jump to get out there's a lot going on and I'm not really explaining what's going on but that Reaper just retreated I got um, I don't know why I just got hit by it sorry so confused what's going on Anyway, the gladiator is an intimidating force on the battlefield. So this is why I'm hanging out with him, basically. Because he will essentially control the battlefield for me. Ouch. I kind of need the help of my uh, gladiator to help me take down this little here. Go. Okay, he's using a shroud, I'm using mine. Have that. I'm gonna just get a position myself behind this rock, away from the Reaper here. Try and focus fire down on that equalizer. I'm just gonna lose the ship. I'm going down. That's some good play by the enemy there. Equalizer needed to be dealt with, but he's so fast, it's hard to hit. The other Reaper jumped on that opportunity because I overflew that rock there. But anyway, I've, I've got distracted by the, the action, as you can see, which is quite intense and straight uh, immediate. This uh, Gladiator is in a world of hurt now. He needs to take that Reaper down, but he's sat in his forward operation space, which means that he is nice and protected uh, by... Uh, protection field it essentially heals him as he takes damage he just gets healed so it makes it even more difficult to, uh, to take the ship down just sat in the forward operations base um, but let me go over a little bit more about the the map in the right 
So, we've got our home base which is where I started, and now I've jumped into one of these lanes here. Um, which is filled with these little stations that you saw us capture. Now I've jumped into... I'm getting frickin' hammered here. I'm trying to take down this gladiator, but perhaps not the best target to attack. Maybe I need to hit the targets that are inside the field. Now the gladiator is targeting me. It's a re maneuver. Being healed. Which is good. Sort of jumping around here, not really targeting any one thing, but you know, over here now. I think I've got something above me. I do. My my rival. Let's see if I can take him down. I think we've won Gamma. Gamma gives us a huge increase in sort of ship stats and stuff, damage and whatnot. Die, you son of a bitch. Thank you. Great shot, it was so good that the entire team jumped Still in there to assist. Because other fights I was in a world of hurt. Teamwork is absolutely vital. I think we're all jumping to jump beta now. So yeah, Gamma is uh, the centre bit on the map there. And every now and again it comes online. And if you can capture it, your team gets a massive boost. Uh, to stats, attack, damage, speed, that sort of thing. Um, but as you see, it takes good teamwork in order to take it. I think both teams threw everything they had in taking Gamma. Fortunately, my team were a little bit better at taking them out. We didn't actually lose a ship in that fight, whereas they lost their Reaper for certain. Must have lost another ship. I don't know. I wasn't really paying that much attention. Here. I've spotted an enemy ship. There's our nemesis. I'm gonna wait until he's a bit closer to use the uh, side beam there. team is in the other field. So I'm going to cause a bit of an upset here that could get me killed. I'm going to go for the enemy's forward base. Now I suspect that Reaper is about to jump straight back in. And he's about to jump in on my Let's left. It's a super lifter. the hell out of there. I mean, uh, my team have captured Alpha 2, so I'm just popping back to home base to repair, and then I'm going to join my team on the enemy base there, once I can jump to Alpha, and then immediately jump to their enemy base. I've just got two upgrades in very quick succession there. Let's, uh, let's jump to 
Alpha. Once you capture all the points, or at least the two forward bases on one lane, you can jump in to your, your the enemy base, essentially, and the, the objective of the game is the first team to capture the enemy base wins. So they've got three of their ships in there, we've got four of ours, they're about to have five, I'm just waiting three seconds for my jump drive to recharge, there it is, I'm now jumping in, and they're just in time as well, because the enemy have just started capturing the Alpha 2 forward base to prevent us from jumping in. I'm here, this capture's going to go even more now, I'm going to focus fire on the Gladiator. I'm going to try and use my side to get rid of his armor. Doing some monstrous amounts of damage here. Gladiator's about to go down. Gladiator's gone down. Quick fire on the Reaper. He's probably going to take me down. I'm very injured right now. I'm probably going to die now. Use my side. The super lift is taking me out. Yeah. I'm down. But we did a lot of damage to them. We captured a lot of their base. Worth it. Dying is not a desirable thing to do in this game because the more you die and the later in the game, the longer it takes for you to respawn. That was about 45 seconds respawn timer. But at the same time, we took down their gladiator. We've taken a massive chunk out of their base. They're now going to be fighting to take back some Gamma territory. In 30 seconds. Gamma is about to come online. I'm going to be jumping straight into Gamma. The enemy is going to be there already. I'm hoping my team can join Gamma me. Gamma online in 20 seconds. It's going to be close. The enemy can very easily come back from this. And all it takes is one Gamma. gamma. Here we go. This is going to be an interesting fight. We've got two ships down. I think this is a lost cause. Fortunately, my shroud armor protects me enough. I need to jump out of there. There's no point wasting uh, my ship in an unwinnable fight. Okay, they, they've they got the Gamma Boost. For now. It does mean that we're going to have a little bit of a harder fight for a little while. While they've got that Gamma Boost. But at least I, uh, we can capture points. We can uh, take down their mining craters here. If we just threw our ship away, we'd be sat waiting to respawn. Just out of range there. Ghost on my right is cloaked. I'm going to try and focus his attention. Pushing hard in Alpha. Our Gladiator is about to go down. We can capture this forward post though. Yeah, Gladiator has gone down. Guys in Alpha 2 are on the back foot. Hopefully, me taking this point here can relieve the pressure over there. There's their Reaper. There's four of them over there, and their Reaper's on. Recharge, so I know that I'm pretty good to engage jump drive, jump into their base, and do some more damage, capture some more points. They've jumped in straight away. So 
they've all retreated out of Alpha 2. I'm just going to try and take these turrets out. And then, before they can take me out, I'm going to try and jump. Trying to jump out. Shroud armor, please. Oh, damn it. Damn, the uh, overseer just got me there. When you're charging your jump drive, you're incredibly vulnerable to attack. And I was trying to position myself under the base there to get away from the super lifter. Unfortunately, the overseer positioned himself behind me. He took me out while I was jumping there. Shroud armor, not enough, because it only covers my sides, not my top. So that's another 35 seconds. Then I'm going to have to wait for respawn. Fortunately, the guys in Alpha are pushing hard on the uh, single ship left in Alpha. Presumably, there's another enemy just joining them now. They've got a down ship. We've got two down ships. This is, this is fractured space. This is it. You've got to be constantly moving, checking the map. Figuring out where's best to jump. He's jumping to Alpha. That will put all five of our ships in Alpha. I'm going to jump to Beta because you should never really have five ships in one lane. Their base is so close to being captured. One more hard push. I wonder who I'm going to find in this sector now. If there's nobody else in here, I'll go straight for their forward base. And again, that will take the pressure off Alpha. One minute thirty to Gamma, so we've got time to make another play. I don't think there's anybody else here, so I'll take this. What was that noise? I thought there was a jump in. Okay, we've earned a refit. Get to a station. Okay, my guys are really making progress on Alpha here. So this is really gonna. They've got two ships down. Gamma I'm online. Sort of be jumping seconds. into the enemy base. I'm gonna capture this and join them. Let's make this station ours. Once they finish that last ship over there, they'll all be jumping in. There they go. They're jumping in already. I'm just gonna get a quick upgrade. My defence. And I'm jumping in. Jump set. Here we go, they think this is the end of our, our enemy. I can't see them. Yep, there we go, I couldn't even get into the sphere. <laughs> We'd captured it. Game over. Brilliant, what a, what a great team to play with. Really good team, really good team. And it's all about, it's all about, you know, recognizing where your team are, but also where they're not. As well, like I say, you don't necessarily want all five ships in one lane. It just leaves the other lane completely open. In that situation, I probably could have quite quite safely gone into the other lane, the Alpha, because there was nobody in Beta. But I have no way of knowing that. So it's good for me to go in Beta to make sure their one of their ships isn't trying to make a, a reverse play on us. So that, in some convoluted, rambly, disjointed, and confusing sort of what way is Fractured Space. <laughs> it's a pretty good game. Um, I've been playing it since the Early Access beta. But not as much, like I say, not as much as uh, I'd like to be playing. So it is good. It is good. You get these little boosts as well. And just hit credit boost. Nice. Very nice. Boosted. There we go. So I got four takedowns, but the ghost got ten, which is about right for a, a ghost. A Viathan, which is another beast of a ship, twelve. So, like I said, we had a we had a good team there. Looks like I was the only founder in the team. <laughs> another nice thing I like is you can recommend players. So I can say sportsmanlike conduct, positive attitude, recommend. Disruptor was positive attitude, sportsmanlike. Gladiator, MVP, definitely. I don't know actually. Who is the MVP? Probably our ghost. I don't know. I'm gonna put the Gladiator as MVP. I'm just gonna go because tanks are so so required. But I don't know any other game that gives you the opportunity to say to both your team and your enemy team the ability to um, 
reward them. So yeah. So I got the most captures, which is important because that captures give us resources and that gives us upgrades. So that's good. Fifty-six thousand damage dealt. It's good. Well, there we go. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Fractured Space. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, sorry, I've been rambling on. It's really hard to commentate a game while you're actually trying to focus on it. But uh, either way, I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. And thank you very much for watching. As always, it's greatly appreciated. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.